Hi there and welcome to a new episode from Thin Air. This time I'm taking this in English, though I think there is a larger audience for this episode than usually. I usually do my YouTube uh, clips in Swedish for the Swedish audience, but this time I think I will do it in English. So I've been playing around with uh, Microsoft SDK for a while now and I'm getting a little bit of hang on it. Much uh, help uh, from Flying Teston and his YouTube pages. And it's been uh, fantastic. Uh, it's been very, very, very helpful to get going. Um, but the best way to get going is to try it yourself, actually. And this is what I've been doing. First of all, I would like to show you maybe a simpler way to start a project. Instead of editing a lot of uh, XML files, there is another way of doing it, actually. If you go into the sample library and say you want to take a simple scenery, for instance, yeah, and then you copy it to your folder where you have your uh, SDK projects. Well, first of all, maybe you can replace that with uh, some name that is useful uh, to the test, for instance. It doesn't really matter in this case. The only file we do need to replace uh, the name on, actually, if we want to keep track of what it is, is this file, the scenery project file. And I would say that, let's say this is a test uh, scenery project like that that is all you need to do the rest can stay of course it depends what you're gonna do with your project but in this case I won't delete any files blah 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 because I'm not actually going to do anything with this project just showing you how to start it up then when you are in the SDK let's go and uh, well, let's actually stop the simulation. Let's go and open that project. Then we go up to where I had that YouTube test and I open the test project. And it usually takes some time. First time it opens up. The thing now, the next thing you should do now is that you go into the uh, uh, this um, package file here and you go and edit these uh, actually using the SDK. So instead of company name, I will put in there TA, which is thin air, I would say. Package name, whatever it will be named. It will be, uh, let's say, TR, TA, a certain airport, ESSA, for instance, and uh, maybe scenery for that. And then the title could be an explanatory title that you remember. And this is the airport. Doesn't really matter. But please do fill in these fields, uh, uh, so they will be there as a help for you. Every time you change something here in the inspector that is not uh, really part of the project, the scene, you should go and do project save. That's very important. And many of these fields that you are in, you need to actually hit enter when you leave the field. You just don't type anything and go to the next field because it won't stay there if you do it like that. Next step is to edit these uh, these uh, content files, uh, these different packages, the the background and the or project packages, and do it in the in the SDK also. So you go edit, and they have name, and it could be uh, TA this airport ESSA. SCN, for instance, type will stay as it is. Package sources scene is correct. Scenery, we usually add world and then a slash scenery. It's a bit in the dark. Uh, this seemed to work, so I, say I usually do it like that. Then again, go project save. Then you go to the next package. Model it, then you can change the name. You can change it to TA, uh, ESSR, model lib. It's a type art project, it would stay the same. The package sources are correct, and the output is also correct. My company, we can change to again to whatever you're calling your company. And again, you go project save. Now, all these XML files that we had in the background, they will be set for you. If I go back to this project YouTube test, if I go into the package definitions, you'll see that it has created new folders and files for you. 
So now this my company blah 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 you can easily just go and delete them because the ones you created is the ones that will be used. So that is a simple way of starting the whole thing up and uh, by doing so uh, the SDK will put in all the right things in these XML files for you. But this was not really the thing I wanted to show. I will just close this project. I'm here now at an airport, uh, not far away from where I live. This is a closed airport and uh, what they've done is that they have uh, started building houses on this airport. Which is totally crazy. But anyway, they have done so. So if we go to the camera and develop a camera, you will see that um, the airport has been cut up like this. And it, this is exactly as you will, would see it in Google Earth or in Bing Maps actually. So. It's a shame, but it has been done. This was a military field actually in the uh, up to 1992, I think, something like that. And they used to fly with the now famous Wigan and so on here. But I wasn't actually, well, no, 86 actually, I think it was lost when they shut it down. I wasn't living in Stockholm at that time, so I missed that period. But we used to be here. We have, we have still our model field here. Uh, this was where we used to have our own uh, uh, tarmac uh, field start uh, um, for the model planes that we fly. But that's been mov moving to another part of the airfield today because it's so close to the buildings. My idea was to actually to, uh, to, to, to revive this airfield back to its glory days. Uh, used to remove all these new buildings, blah, 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 and put up a new airport, blah, 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 and so on. So that's I have not been working on. So I will, let me see here. If I go back and open this project I've been working on. And it's a quite uh, large project now. I've started off with actually to, uh, to, um, to replace the background. Uh, with, with the data from Google Earth and by doing so I could go back to 2003 because you can download historical uh, images using Google Earth and on those images you could find all these uh, uh, taxi waves and so on uh, still there as it used to be in those days and all those buildings that are now built there are, wasn't there of course at that time so that was the first step, used to put that in, and again, thanks to Flying Testum uh, for the help uh, for doing that. It was uh, quite many steps of doing it, but it wasn't really so tricky. Uh, it was quite easy, actually. So the next step I did it was to add all the, uh, the, new, uh, the new airports, to add a new airport and to add the new uh, landing and starting uh, paths, what do you call it in English again? I just forgot that word. It's uh, crazy that you can forget. But anyway, so I've been doing that. And the next thing I wanted to do was to add some buildings. There was actually one building that looked okay. Uh, this building to the left looked okay. Uh, but when I look it on it closer down here, I can see it doesn't really match up with what's there in reality. But this building is actually still there, so it has the right shape, so it can stay for a while. But I did uh, do this building in Blender just uh, five, 15 minutes ago, just to check up how it works, and it worked fine. The thing I discovered is that um, when you start working with the bigger projects, uh, that, con that includes a lot of different stuff, it's a bit easier to, to actually go up here in the project editor and add a separate package and let that separate package be for instance for the for the houses and so on that you will put into this so I, what I have in this package manages now the background and manages the taxiways and so on and this package will then manage all the buildings I will add on top to this so this will probably work, uh, this will probably f be fine actually. There is some small issues still here, is that um, there is some traffic going on here. Uh, not for the moment, yes there is a car there. There is some traffic going on here, uh, vehicles going on uh, Asobo roads, uh, which I haven't been able to eliminate yet, but I think that we'll be able to do that also maybe hopefully. 
I've noticed that um, as soon as you start to add an asset, let's say you add, uh, for instance, uh, an apron, all the aprons that uh, was there in the airport from Asobo uh, will vanish. So hopefully if I try to add a, a road somewhere here for vehicles, these then these vehicles will just disappear. I'm not sure about it, but the other stuff works that way at least. The perhaps trickiest part will be actually night time. <laughs> and this is because if you go to the night time mode, the lights are now the ones that Asoba put in, which are in place as it is now how to move these street lights I'm not sure uh, that will be maybe be an interesting thing in the end uh, maybe it doesn't really make any difference if they are as they are but I would like to keep them as they are some rows are still actually the same in the area so that matches up very well but uh, but not uh, not for you know you see it here there is no lights on the taxiways as this uh, it was there not at least not in the year 2003 so that was a short tip of the sdk uh, so i had uh, showed you how to make another way of starting them instead of editing the xml files which i always think is a bit tricky uh, and then if you start uh, growing your project it's much better to divide it up in different packages because this package for instance now contains a lot of tiles for the background for instance so to build that package takes uh, a couple of minutes at least on my computer uh, so by adding another package you can build just the house package in this in this um, uh, much shorter time uh, which i think is quite good i think that's the way the it was supposed to be uh, um, also uh, if you are inside let's say a package like this and you then you used to, you, you create you, you just are here up in the project editor and, and you click the plus sign then you will create a new package and then you will need to go into that package uh, let me show you here so let's, if you press plus sign there's a package let's call it test and it would maybe create, be able to contain something in the future. Let me see here. Let's say it's another art project. Let me create it. Then you need to go into that project. The first part is there, the art project. But you will need to select the blue one and add a, bit, a background to this. And you do it down here by a plus in, adding that plus instead. And then you select a background. And you will have now two assets in that package so now it's that's how it works i think it works for me at least and then if you don't like them just go ahead and delete them that's not a problem and then each time you make we press project save it will go and uh, redo all these xml files for you in the background so i think it's a better way trying to let the SDK to handle all these uh, XML files and so on uh, for you in the background instead of trying to type them. Uh, what I did need to do is that when you add an art project here for instance, uh, let me go here show you, is that um, you will need to add the folders manually. So let's say that I added, this is the project that we're looking up here, so in under package sources, I had to add model lib, for instance, uh, manually. I had to add uh, the texture folder manually. I only have one texture here for the moment. And I had to add the folder which contains the model for this house. So that part you need to remember to add manually uh, to your project when you do it in the project tree. If you do the, uh, if you use the steel from the from the samples then these folders will be in there for you but just take a look how it's done in the samples and then just copy the folder structure here and the xml files will usually uh, take care of themselves uh, some things that also was uh, in the dark for me in the beginning was where should these things be uh, and that's something that flying test hasn't actually explained very well actually usually the first the asset directory is usually uh, the right place 
So this is usually within your package sources. So that is where it contains the stuff you're creating. So that should be in there. And then the output directory should always be in the packages. So that's where you create the packages. Uh, so it should be always in that uh, way. Uh, what more can I put into this? Well, I don't think there is much more at this point. I will continue with this project and hopefully I will be able to resurrect uh, F18, as this was called, this airport, in Tullinge, Sweden, in some time here. So, thanks for me from Thin Air and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thank you. Bye bye.